I need some music to start off this live tonight. What is up, ladies? Jump on in. Today we're going to be going over kicking those cravings so we can start seeing some better results. This was truly a very amazing guide for me to first go through as I was going through my fitness journey as we have these cravings and if we don't know why they're there, then we don't have much control over them. Being able to grow that knowledge so that we can start to better get results. That, that understanding has been such a key component that if we're not learning, where what are we doing? <laughs> I feel like we're stuck, right? My absolute favorite thing is really to just kind of understanding a little bit more. So you know I have these fun guides. I absolutely love these little guides that we can go over with each other. So I feel like this is definitely me with chocolate with these donuts and this girl's like, oh, I can't put it in my mouth fast enough. <laughs> All right, let's dive into it. So understanding cravings. Okay, so one of the best things that I ever learned was really this little cheat sheet. It has helped me immensely. So I wanted to share with it you tonight. And as well, there's this really cool a cycle and guide, syncing your cycle and understanding the four different phases of when you're in your cycle or if you're in perimenopause or menopause, what we go through as far as our cycles and that as well. And so that's very important for us to understand our bodies. A lot of us are like, I'm just so exhausted and we don't know why. And then over, we're like, am I just having these intense cravings? I don't know why. All right. So these are very important things for us to understand about our bodies because once we do understand them, we realize, oh my goodness, my body was trying to communicate with me this whole time. Okay. So always trying to put our body back into harmony with ourselves. So the, this is important that the week before and after your period, your body uses, it's actually during, by the way, it's a typo. So the week before and during your period, your body uses 80% of the nutrients you eat all month long. So pay close attention to your food choices and note any cravings. So this is a great insight into the nutrients your body truly needs. So I love this little guide. So whatever you said is your cravings, let's go ahead and follow it as far as what actual vitamin, mineral def deficiency that you're in and what we need to be eating instead. All right. So we got chocolate, missing magnesium, What you really need. You need to be adding a little bit more nuts and seeds and vegetables and fruit to your diet. And that was the case. So look at all those vitamins and minerals and nutrients that we're missing out on. And that's our body telling us, hey, I need some more of this. And these are the things we need to eat instead. Breads and pasta. Look, it's nitrogen. So what we need to be eating instead, look at those dark leafy greens, nuts and seeds. All right, so oily foods. If you're craving those French fries or that fast food, the hamburgers, etc., anything oily, your body's needing the calcium. And what you should be eating instead is the broccoli, the asparagus, kale, mustard greens, bok choy, figs or dates or plums are phenomenal for that. Then we go to salty foods. A few of you said chips, chloride, and silicone. So being able to eat this instead, all right? So we got celery, tomatoes, lettuce, and seaweed. Also cashews, nuts, and seeds. Now, okay, now let's be honest with each other. Let's be for real right now. Are you guys ready? All right, real talk. When I saw this, I was like, oh, so instead of eating chocolate, I should just go eat broccoli? <laughs> that ain't going to be sustainable for you or for me, right? So my most favorite thing next is really being able to understand like, well, where can we find balance with this? Because truly, this is just going to be absolutely ridiculous if we want to try to get our cravings. We want to try to really figure out how we can actually maintain it and be sustainable. What does balance really look like? Let's go into this. So for me, you guys, um, and we can come up with our own, so I want you guys to think of what yours is, but it's basically being like, what is that level of balance? Instead of restricting ourselves, what that's going to do is create this cycle of binging. I don't know if you've ever been on a program before that was like, no sugar, no sugar, and then all of a sudden, all your brain hears is just sugar, 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 right? It's like you become obsessed with it. And so that's what I think restrictive dieting really does is it just puts us in these levels of extremes that it's just not sustainable. And so what we want to do is really find our balance, which we call food freedom here in Booty Bands and Barbells. So if you don't know what food freedom is, it's basically just no restrictions. Okay, so what we want to do is together find ways that you can still have your chips. Now notice in every one of these images, there's still chocolate, there's still the cookie, there's still the bread, there's still the chips, but we were never taught to add things. We were always told to suppress, which really messed up, in my opinion, the female weight loss industry, to be honest, because we've all been really good at starving ourselves 
We've never been taught on the things of how to. I was a big chocolate freak. So I started making these yogurt parfaits and I made them a lot of fun. So there's Greek yogurt or whatever yogurt. There's plant-based yogurts out there. So all sorts of them, whatever, whatever yogurt you want to do. But this was just what I did. I added like these nuts and seeds. So like walnuts or pecans or cashews. Then I would add some pumpkin seeds. And I started really playing around with like hemp hearts or chia seeds or the pepitas, which are otherwise known as pumpkin seeds, right? Flax seed is phenomenal as well, especially for hormones. Okay, then I would add my chocolate on top. So I made this up for, I don't know if you guys know, but Booty Bands has what's called one-on-one accountability. And I made this this week for the members because I wanna make it easy for them to come up with ideas as often as possible, be able to create these fun ways of simple. Now, if you guys know anything about me, Coach Denise over here, if you guys know anything about me, I do not spend my time in the kitchen. You know I'm spending majority of my time in front of this computer, hanging out individually one-on-one with you. That's where my time is where I'd prefer to spend it, not in that kitchen. So every meal that you see on here can be made in such a short amount of time. I'm talking like the preparation is is usually only five minutes or less. And really actually the cooking is probably 15 minutes or less. So you're talking about just 20 minutes or less. Some of these are eat like a protein shake takes me at least maybe two minutes, right? So a lot of these anywhere from zero to 20 minutes on average is how I cook, okay? Now I gave you the ideas here. You can take a screenshot of this. If you're looking for some ideas to build up your vitamins, nutrients, and minerals in your diet so that way your cravings start to go down. You'll have way more control. But the problem has been that we think that in order to lose weight, we need to starve ourselves. I wanted to share another one that I did. Instead of just having coffee, maybe add protein powder or maybe a collagen. There's all sorts of different things out there. And if you don't like some, try another. That's what makes us so unique and so individual, right? Smoothie ideas, pesto pasta. There's all sorts of like veggie or lentil or protein pastas out there now that make it a low carb, high protein pasta, but it tastes just the same as regular pasta. And that's how I made this one here that you guys are seeing, this pesto pasta one. You guys all know about those booty balls, otherwise known as protein energy balls, or like chicken fajitas. So when we go out to dinner, it can be the same thing. So this, the chicken fajitas is I actually had, was at a restaurant. And so looking at things that will be having those nutrients in it so that we can really start seeing our results and manage and really control it. Awesome. So I just wanted to share with you Spotlight. I'm going to start doing this on some of our lives. Um, spotlighting the members that are in the one-on-one accountability. I want to give you a little shout out. All right. So top left, this is Naomi. I might, oof, I wasn't expecting to get a little emotional. Naomi was kind of in a place in her life where she wasn't really prioritizing herself. She was kind of caught in this like weird situation where it was like she didn't have the ability in her own home to kind of cook meals. It was kind of this like weird transition of like just setting boundaries and just like making her a priority. And you can see in the photo how much she showed up for herself. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Naomi. I'm so proud of you, girl. She's about ready to graduate um, the accountability program. And look at the definition you're seeing in her waistline. She just sent me a message today that said, I have to change uniforms because my old one is too big for me. And what a great way to celebrate and just kind of like excited for that progress she's made. All right, the next one, not sure if you guys know Lydia, but Lydia has been in the accountability. If you guys know Coach Cindy, this is the sister. And she just got married. It was really cool. She, she had this really cool moment in her life. The shift was She always kind of created this identity of I wanted to be the funny girl and she wanted to be light. And what she realized, she goes, you know what? People can still like me and I can be fit. So it was a really beautiful transition. Instead of thinking she has to be overweight to be liked, she created a new identity and that was a really big breakthrough for her. All right, next one in the bottom left-hand side, we've got Margaret. Margaret here started the program off at a size 22. She is now a size 14, and she's not even halfway done with the program yet. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not kidding, dude. Margaret has been phenomenal. She just posted in the Facebook group just last week for the first time. I think it was actually this week. It was Sunday, so whatever 
however you want to count that. But just wanted to really shout out Margaret for what an amazing job you've done. Her favorite thing is that she always went from like black clothes. Now she's starting to wear really bright and colorful clothes, which is showing up for yourself. Really cool. Next one, you guys will start to know Mandy a little bit more. You're going to see her in the Facebook group a lot. Shout out to Mandy. She has so far lost five inches in her waist. One of her biggest things is she had this closet full of clothes that she wanted to fit in really comfortably, but she just couldn't seem to get there. She was creeping over the age of 40 years old. She's in her 40s. And she just felt like with age and just the current knowledge she had just wasn't enough. And so she signed up with accountability and it's already five inches gone on her waist. My favorite thing is if you do follow her, she's been posting a lot of bikini photos. So you'll see her level of confidence through the roof, which is beautiful. That's my favorite part of why I do this is the, is the confidence part. All right, next one. Got Emily. Emily is over in the middle right over here. My favorite part is first come in and you have this like intense doubt of trying everything, but yet you want a program that fits. That's not like you're just eating a bunch of broccoli all day long. That was Emily's biggest component. She's like, I am busy, super busy. Like I need something to really fit into my lifestyle. And for the first several weeks, she was like, it's not working. And she had all this self-doubt. And then she just got this recent photo. This photo is just her recent one. And she's able to see differences in her arms, her stomach, her booty, her legs, cellulite's going away. And it just, the, the fact that she took this picture and posted it in the Facebook group shows you this level of self-doubt flipping over into this like, I can do it. It's a really beautiful transition. So I wanted to give a big shout out for Emily. All right, next one. If you guys know Krista, Krista is a coach. Krista is an awesome Booty Bands member where she was talking about her COVID body, where she just kind of let it all go and just felt that soft skinniness. When she talks about her, she was on a podcast, she has a beautiful podcast, talking about lifting weights is where it's at. So she's an avid component of using booty bands and barbells. The resistance and the bands is where she actually was able to lose the fat and build this muscle. And Krista is 54 years old. So don't you dare tell me you're too old. Don't you tell me that you're broken. Do not use that excuse. Absolutely does not work for this program. Booty bands and barbells believes that if you have head, shoulders, knees, and toes, yes, girl, it's going to work for you too. You guys know... Abby. Abby is probably one of our most active in the booty bands. I would say one of the most active in the booty bands Facebook group. You should, should know Abby if you're in there. My favorite is she's um, in her hotel room at her, I think it was her anniversary. And she's got her arms up and she's like, I'm able to finally sit into my size 10 jeans. And that moment of seeing how far she's come Abby, if you're on here, I'm sure you might be. I just want to give you this beautiful shout out to see your progress. And this like never quitting version of you is so inspiring. And the fact that not only are you bringing your husband into it, which is also having the most phenomenal, I'm not going to call weight loss journey. I'm going to call it a fat loss journey because we're body recomposition. There's a big difference. The inches that he's lost of the inspiration you've been for him but now I just got off a call with her and it's now ripple affecting into her kids. Do you guys see that power right there? That ripple effect. So phenomenal that her kids take with her. Oh, it's great. All right. And this one over here, we got Larissa. She just graduated. She was our last graduate for the Booty Bands Accountability Program. Look at her transformation. So her biggest one was really about booty gains. She was trying so hard to shrink the waist and grow the booty. And that aha moment for her, you guys see like all these like Instagram or Facebook or all these things that are basically like, just do this like 20 times every single day and you're going to get the best body of your life. All these like short lived lies. For her, she was just trying everything. She was doing all the things, but just not really utilizing and seeing the results. So she went through the accountability program and I took her step by step through shaping, through training techniques to going over her form that this like wow moment hit where she started to implement it and start to see better results. So just wanted to say a big shout out to you as well. So awesome job. I'm so proud of all of you guys. Now that's just a few. I'm going to bring out the others next week. So stay tuned. My absolute honor to just witness and observe. I'm trying not to cry. Okay. 
I just want to say thanks for the opportunity for letting me observe your beautiful transformations from the inside out. So oftentimes we come in here thinking that it's just going to be a body transformation. And oftentimes when I see the ripple effect it has into the other areas of your life is why it truly is the best program out there. And I just am so thankful to be a part of it. I'm just honored to be with you tonight and every Wednesday night. I was not expecting to cry, but I just wanted to say thanks. That was really wonderful. And it's so wonderful for all those that are in the Facebook group and you guys are doing the challenge. I'm so proud of you. I love seeing, oh, that that bootylicious booty workout got a lot of you. I'm so glad that you love that and you're connecting with your body. But the best thing is that you're showing up for yourself. That's really where it's at. Okay, so if you are needing some an accountability or coach to help you kind of just tip over that fence of just the results that you're looking for, just comment I'm in down below so that way we can help you through this. The girls that are in the accountability program, a huge shout out to you. You guys are working so hard and tremendously. It's so beautiful to see your progress. It really is. There's levels of your nutrition that's elevating your workouts and your emotional being that are really cool to observe. And for all those that are just in the Facebook group, it's really beautiful to observe yours as well. So just outstanding overall. I'm so proud of all of you. Hopefully we learned one thing tonight about cravings, about how to really take our control, our power back. If we're feeling really susceptible to these cravings, now we know why. And so upping those nuts, those seeds, that protein, blending in those fruits and vegetables a little bit more, not going from chocolate to broccoli, We're not about extremes, but finding that level in the middle and then share with us. This is the week to do it. Share with us in the Facebook group. What did you find? What is that level of in-between that you can do, that balance, all right? I'm going to go ahead and let you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Now that we know more about our cravings, more about our metabolisms, now we know not to just lose weight and then try to tone up, knowing that we can definitely work a lot smarter than that. What an awesome live tonight. So have an amazing one and I'll see you guys in the Facebook group. We are still in our challenge right now. And if you do need some help with accountability, you can just send that in the Facebook group or even comment right down below. Hey, I need help. Or hey, what's accountability? Hey, let me know. So that way we can get you a lot faster. We are aging and that only is making it a little tougher if we're not doing anything about it. So let's do something about it, okay? All right, bye y'all.